Shalom. My text this week is not from the Torah. It's actually not from our tradition. It's, well, listen for yourself. He who carved the edges of the cosmos curved himself into a fetal ball in the dark, tethered himself to the uterine wall of a virgin, and lets his cells divide, light splitting all white. He gave up the heavens that were not even large enough to contain him and lets himself be held in a hand. The mystery so large becomes the baby so small. An infinite God becomes infant. Beautiful. But not from my Jewish tradition. No. They are the gorgeous words of writer Anne Voskamp about the birth of Jesus. But I share them in the hope that you will share them and this video with our beloved Christian brothers and sisters, neighbors and friends. This video is for them. On behalf of the Jewish community, I want to extend to them our heartfelt wishes for a blessed Christmas. And I hope those words and this time of year touch them as much as they touch me. No. As a Jew, I don't celebrate Christmas, not in belief, practice, or heritage. But as one who celebrates the joy of faith and who loves religion, this Jew rejoices in seeing the spiritual happiness that this season brings to Christians everywhere. It's why I feel so comfortable whenever I'm invited into places of worship like this one all around our valley. Here, I feel much of the same sense of wonder, mystery, and love of God that I find at my synagogue. Here, I find the same peace and divine warmth. I find comfort in seeing brothers and sisters of other traditions who, through powerful rituals, passages, and stories, draw close to God. And that is why I so love the words of Anne Voskamp. It may not be my religious approach, but it reminds me that we all have the same spiritual desires, searching for the greatest of gifts, the love of God. We are not so different, nor our beloved Muslim brothers and sisters, nor any who seek divine hope and beauty. Let us always remind ourselves that what separates us is not as great as what we all treasure, namely a loving God who gives us hope and courage, guidance and strength. And we discover God through the mystery and sacred stories that touch us in different ways, like Christmas. We each cherish our faiths for they remind us through these treasured stories that God loves us, that God cares for humanity, and that God wants us to live out these stories by loving each other, especially those who need love the most, the sick, the poor, the friendless, the other, the stranger. We celebrate sacred days for we know that despite a cold and often lonely world, faith gives us hope and purpose. And whether from a manger at night under a special star in Bethlehem, or a little basket desperately floating in Egypt, or a child in a desert cared for by kindly Bedouins, we're all seeking the divine. And in so many ways, and looking for teachers, guides, prophets, messiahs, heroes and heroines who show us the way toward a kinder and gentler world. Cherish the beauty of this magnificent season, my Christian brothers and sisters. Study the birth, the life, the words, the ministry and the teachings of Jesus with your children and grandchildren. Treasure this glorious time with your family, 
your friends, and your church. And remember the uplifting words of C.S. Lewis. Once in our world, a stable had something in it that was bigger than our whole world. May God bless you all. May God bless us all. And blessed and holy Christmas on behalf of your Jewish neighbors who cherish your friendship and your love.